Okay, so we have a bit of a problem here. So I'm out here at the side gate where the AC condenser unit here is. And uh, what's happening is I've already explained to JK18 in a comment uh, pretty much the gist of what's happening here. So he kind of gets what's going on right here, but I haven't explained the full details yet. But um, I have the fuse plug out right now because I want to just, so that way no power goes to the unit. Because I wanted to, I wanted to take a minute to kind of explain what's happening. So um, right now, um, what was happening was it was a few days ago. Um, we had the AC unit running and everything was just fine. There were no issues initially whatsoever. But later that night, I was upstairs at the computer, you know, on YouTube, just doing my normal stuff when. I heard a noise coming out of the bathroom window that was right by me. So I checked and it, you know, there's the bathroom window right there. It's right it's not that window on the end, but it's that one there. I looked out that window to, or I checked out that window to see what the noise was. It was kind of a a whirring noise. It sounded like almost water running. So I didn't know what that was at first, but then I looked here. So I came out um, over here to check and see what was going on and uh, found that the fan motor was on we, uh, even when the AC wasn't so and what's happening right now is I'll just plug this in to show you here so this is just your normal fuse plug right here so just plug it in and you can tell by the by the polarity of the blades that it's supposed to spin in the counterclockwise direction and if I plug it in you'll notice that it it wants to spin in the reverse direction at about half the speed or a little under that it should be even when the AC is off so I'll just plug it in and you can see what's happening so notice how it's turned you saw how it started up in the clockwise direction. And I can feel, you know, I can tell it's running in reverse because here I don't feel any air being blown out, but I do feel air being blown out the sides here. So it's running in reverse. Now I'm gonna have, yeah, and now I'm gonna have my mom go and turn on the AC to show you what's happening when it's on because now it will work normally like it should without any issues it will spin in the right direction so here we go Now, it's turning in the right direction. Okay, so she just turned it off. And you saw how that stopped and went the other direction. So. Okay, just shut that off for now. Just set that aside. So you saw basically the gist of what's happening right now. So, um, really, I don't, I'm not sure, because uh, I kind of noticed that the fan was actually, even when it was on, it was kind of turning a little bit slower than it normally should. Um, before, that wasn't the case. Even when it was on, it would spin properly, and it would go at the speed that it should. But now I'm kind of noticing a bit of a difference here in speed. So, I don't know. I don't know. But my, uh, my dad actually took the top and the side cover off. This is a train, by the way, XB1000. It's a three-ton unit. And here's the date. Here's some information on the back. It is the original, so as you can tell, it says January 1999. That's the date there. 
some of the in the information there. So, anyway, my dad took the uh, both covers off of this. I have the cord out here with my camera charger plugged in right now, so because my battery is pretty low. But we took this off, and you know, to check and see what was happening. In here is the relay start switch, the contactors, and the capacitor. Now, I think this, I believe, is a dual round capacitor. So, it's a start and run. But we took this off to check and see what was happening. And from what we uh, kind of uh, saw what was happening, I actually would have thought that the problem was the capacitor. Maybe something had shorted inside to where this was causing it even when it was off because apparently there's always one leg of voltage going to the uh, the fan motor and um, that's what be and because uh, well I'll explain that in a minute here but I would have thought that the capacitor might have been the culprit here because um, from what it was doing you know I kinda would have expected that but my uh, my dad actually took this down now keep in mind this wasn't my decision or anything this was all his he took this down to a sheet metal place and had it looked at had a couple guys take a look at it and um, they took it out so they took you know they took the whole thing took the capacitor for it took the motor and took it in the back room and I guess you know somehow they tested it and uh, the when that was all said and done um, the conclusion is that the motor is actually shorted to ground internally so probably due to the uh, you know the hundred year totally bad winters that we've had here because um, the one year we didn't actually have this covered but the last winter here that we just had we've had this we had this covered um, the top and so that way uh, you know nothing much would happen here but the, because of that, we were kind of, uh, you know, my dad have a, had kind of a sneaking suspicion that it was the motor problem. And sure enough, it was. But what's happening is, at least from what we believe, the motor is shorted internally. And because there's always a leg of voltage going to it, there's two legs that go to it. One leg with it being off. Which is why, you know, even after, even when the AC is off, is it is uh, it's running anyway. But um, when you and then when you go to turn it on, the next leg of voltage comes, and that shorts it normally, like it should, and then it sh and then it will actually start spinning. But because this is shorted internally, um, you know that's the. Uh, that's what we believe or that's the reason we believe it's doing this so I'm not sure 100 percent that that's exactly the case but uh, we'll we'll see what happens here um, the guy actually called um, and said that he got a new replacement motor in for this so we're gonna actually probably go pick that up maybe later this evening here it's like five it's almost six o'clock here so in the evening so I'm kind of recording this a little late, but um, yeah, so that's kind of what's happening right now. So we've had this just kind of disconnected for the time being, so nothing would happen. I didn't want to, you know, show this running too long because, because it's already shorted. I just don't want to take the chance of blowing it up more and causing a whole set of new, whole new set of problems for us because we have to be out of this house completely um, and into our new one by the first week of June so it'll be less than a month so we can't have much more problems here with this place but there you go that's what's happening right now um, I hope this uh, I hope I didn't babble on too much about nothing I did I am trying to you know my best to make this as short a video as possible but I know it's kinda going on 10 minutes here so I'm going to stop it right here, but 
real quick, I'm just going to show you, if I can, just the, uh, the plate here, with the information on the motor, if you can. It's a GE motor, assembled in Mexico, as you can, as you can kind of see there. And then the compressor is an American standard. You can see it right down there, that red thing. If you can if it will focus in there. The tag for that's on the back. Um, yeah, it's not wanting to focus, but and then there's the uh, the uh, switch for that on the side there. I know it's kind of crappy focusing here but um, yeah there's something buzzing around here um, yeah that cover on the side there but I'm not quite sure exactly what's all in here but um, you know that's that so anyway I guess that'll be I guess I'll just cut this off for now um, I hope this uh, hope this kind of gives you a little insight here as to what's happening but you know it's 1999 it's the original unit so um, after sitting through all the weather and everything you kinda you'd kind of expect that uh, something like this would happen because you know that's what winter does to a lot of things but anyway that's gonna be I'll just wrap it up here for now thanks for watching and uh, I might make another video of the replacing of the motor. So stay tubed and we'll see you then.